Welcome to the March 15th, 2023 Conservation Commission meeting. Um, please note the meeting is being recorded. Anything you say can and will live in infamy on YouTube. <laughs> minutes. Um, I read the minutes. They were good. Anybody have any thing to say about the minutes from it was just one meeting right yep yeah I didn't disagree with anything in it okay um, also. I have a motion to approve the minutes from so, February whatever so move second um, all those in favor aye. Aye. aye aye all those opposed all right uh, no treasurer's report because Robin's not here Bills and forms. Do we have anything? Yeah, so um, this one got kicked back. Yeah, I was wondering week. about that. I'm like, <laughs> I was away and I'm like, hmm, please. Pay. Need majority, can't sign self. Oh, so this is for my reimbursement for the plant kit for the garden. And apparently, I need you guys to sign as well. Uh -huh. Sign it. Yep. Here. Here. Do, under around my name. Okay. Somewhere, yeah. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, ma madam. <laughs> oh, we're signing on the other page. No, nope, oh, just right, right here. Yeah. yeah. I know, I keep thinking I should sign my name like that too. You know, just scribbles like no. You know. No, it's too ingrained to you in you at this point. <laughs> right, exactly. Mine's not a scribble. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's never the same. Sorry. 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 I stand corrected. Yeah. Never how to yeah. spell it. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to give that back to you. Anything okay. else? So remember last time we had that random bill that showed up for, what was it, $229? Yep. And 70, 76 cents. So I figured out what that was. So it was basically they didn't know who to charge for a Bigelow uh, road posting. So they sent the ad to me, and I was like, oh, so that's not actually us. And so I forwarded it to Wayne, and he got it over to Kathy to pay it. But. Awesome. Well, they're coming in tonight, so yep. we'll give them this also. Yeah. What, what, what was the bill for? So, um, went back in October when we first had, like, Kathy Adams come in and uh, yeah. Wayne come in. They uh, had to do a legal posting. Okay. And apparently... They thought we did. They, uh, they well, thought we posted. They billed oh. us. Yeah. Yeah. Got the it. newspaper Set up. billed yeah. us. <clears throat> okay. Sneaky. Good research. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. good save yeah. on that one. Well, some of the other boards then, will post. I have reimbursement oh, yeah. requests yeah. for the last but of my job, MACC courses. Awesome, dude. So I signed up for the restroom, so after next week, I will be certified. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. So. I say we give her a quiz. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so which ones? <laughs> oh, so it doesn't. Remember just by the numbers. So, do you remember which ones you did? So, um, let's see. So, last night was uh, enforcement orders, how to uh, do wetland enforcement, that kind of thing. Excellent. Our jurisdiction. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't remember what tomorrow is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, protecting land, I did that. Um, and then I have the two um, fundamentals coming up next week 104, 105. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. All right. We'll have to give her a raise, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even. Well, at I, least I do have news ah, about that. Okay. So, um, okay. So the bill is for $275 for one, two, three, four, five classes for the MACC training. Can I have a motion to reimburse Maddie for that? So moved. Second. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Were they, did you take those over the line? Zoom. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They've all been zoomed. Yeah. <laughs> Very convenient. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. So you'll fill out the paperwork, and I'll just sign it. Yeah. Oh, does everybody need to sign it? I'm always so confused about this. Yeah, I think this one you can just sign. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> all right. Um. All right, we have five more minutes. There was some, oh, so just since we have a few minutes, I did hear from, so I think everybody knows that I had put in a request for four more hours a week for Maddie, and the request has been denied for this fiscal year. So, did they give a reason? Um... I think there's a whole bunch of different factors. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, care to? Well, um, the big thing that's hitting the town of Brown is the schools and the cost that that, it, that will be to the impact of residents between what Roland Boylston to Honto has asked anywhere from a 14 to 20% increase. So, unfortunately, Things were cut, including Maddie's hours, including, um, you know, we're looking at alternate funding for additional officers, a sergeant on third shift. So <clears throat> it's, it's, it's not a happy budget season. Yeah. And my understanding is what's going on with the schools is actually happening across the state. Correct. And so it's every school system it is, is every going school to be system. in. I mean, it's, it's, it's hitting it hard, you know, when everyone has been putting in two and a half percent increases, which we've asked for, and everyone's been great. But unfortunately, you hit the schools, and there's just state mandated stuff like special ed that there is no way around it. Mm. So unfortunately, it's a giant increase to the budget. We're looking at things like not putting money. Um, away and just using it to pay bills you know to help with the schools because obviously no one wants to make the motion to say hey i'm sorry but here's a 15 percent increase on your taxes right so that's where i'm going at 7 30 is down the hall yeah uh, to talk about that so we would have loved to and probably in better times we could and i mean the budget still isn't final but unfortunately we were truly looking in the uh, cushions of the couch to try and find extra money. <laughs> I saw Peg pick the couch up. Yeah. Shake the couch. Yeah. Good. Good. Find some money. I hope it works this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will continue our efforts, but yep. in the meantime, you don't have to work more. That's true. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, okay. Do you have anything else? Uh, bills of forms. Or? All right. All good. Uh, mails, mail, and notices. There's. Uh, I see the one item. Yep. Then that's pretty much it. Thing. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't see much. So, so uh, I don't remember who. Just like somebody, right? Yep. Um, emailed asking for permission to put some geocaches at Garfield Woods. Which one's that? <clears throat> um, 40 caves. Oh. Yeah. There's um, some already. That's, yeah. So, uh, over by, what's by the dam there? But, yeah, there's a whole bunch around town. Yeah, I just actually. find them randomly. Yeah. yeah. Who puts them up? Geocachers? Yeah. <laughs> no, a lot of it took me to scan the thing. I'm sitting there, I'm like, how do you figure out how to yeah, download an app? Really? Yeah, because oh, I kept seeing them. I'm like, what is this? That won't get to be a, a, just like a rubbish looking thing, will it? No, no it's just a little tiny thing oh, hidden in okay. the woods. I don't know anything about right. it. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. it's um, yeah. letterboxing, is what they used oh. to call it. Okay. Yep. What? Yep. Do yeah, a lot of people yeah. use them? Letterboxing. Uh, I don't honestly know. The it's one by my house had like 2,000 hits. Like it tells you how many times people found it. Oh, really? And there was one that was like 2,000. Right. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it was right there. Right. When it first started, so it was called letterboxing because there would be a, a rubber stamp and an ink pad in it, and you would stamp your book. 
is old school. <laughs> when people used paper. No cell phones, yeah. <laughs> Very excited. Um, and sometimes it would be like a poem that you'd have to decipher to make the hunt a little harder hmm. and figure out like where in the world it was and then where in that place in the world and stuff. And um, Skip used to talk about that a lot. Yeah. 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 Yep. Oh, to find the spot, you would have yes. to decipher the poem. Exactly. Yeah, I've heard about this. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Cool. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, unless anybody has any objections or anything, I don't know that we need to vote. As long as they're not going in there with a motorcycle or a four-wheeler. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or a sn um, snowmobile. Um, all right. So, you'll take care of responding to that, Maddie? Yep. Awesome. Ha-ha. <laughs> Good. All right. So, nice. Uh, Ryan. I'm actually Greg Royce. Okay. Ryan, hey. help me out with the application. Okay. I'm working on that. Working on it oh, for him. Oh, Dillis and Roy. Yes. Oh, we got the big guy this time. Well, you can use your judgment on that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll start if it's okay with you. Yeah. Um, so I'm representing the applicant this evening, which is Habitech. You folks may remember about a year ago we did an ant rad on this yep. property to delineate the, you know, certify the wetland resource areas. Um, the applicant's looking to do some soil testing on the property um, to just see what we have for baseline soils. Um, this is the Locust Met Central Street. Route 495 is kind of like down here. Yep. So the, the shops are on the other side of 495, of course. I'm going to show you how to do this Berlin Way. Good. This is Wilson's. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. <laughs> now I know where we are. <laughs> right. So the parcel in question that they're looking to soil test is this is this chunk back here. Um, and actually also um, there's, there's some acreage on the other side of the railroad bed that they're also looking to soil test that's, that they're also in a purchase and sale agreement. So the... Um, the land that they're looking to purchase includes this piece, but also a few parcels on the opposite side. So we're looking to test that as well. So all the property that's for sale up there, it's not all one. It's, it's all one, but it's sort of, it's bisected by the rail bed. So it's a little bit convoluted, but it is all one piece. I guess it's all, it's all one deal that they're looking to So do. it goes all the way to 495. I don't know if it goes all the way to 495. It goes to Hawk Brook. Yeah. In the wetlands back there. Yeah, it, there's a lot of wetlands on the other side. But yeah. there are some yeah. uplands right up against the railroad bed. Yep. Um, yep. There's some uplands. Uh, so what, are they gonna, what do they want to do with that? Well, um, you know, that's they, still in question. Um, I mean, really what we want to do is do some – we're really trying to get the, the – um, we came to do the NRAD to figure out where the wetlands are, and then we're looking to do some soil testing to see what we have for soils. Um, but they're then, home builders. Yeah. 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 I agree. They, they, have some, so. they have some ideas <laughs> that, honestly, I'd love to share with you tonight, but I think their next stop would be before the planning board, and they'd like to do that pretty soon to kind of start a dialogue with the planning board. So th there's there's some thoughts on the table, but I don't want to I don't want to get on a, ahead of my skis. Um, mm -hmm. But they are also in agreement with this piece of property. So actually the subject of this RDA, we actually filed the RDA on this piece of property here. It's this L-shaped piece because they have an agreement with it's this. It's the blue house next yes. to Wilson's. Um, and this, painted it. There's, oh, an, there? existing, oh, there's, um, there's yeah. an existing crossing there actually, uh, old farm crossing that we'd look into utilize. You know, and we had an excavator um, contractor come out that's going to be doing the work. And um, <clears throat> you know, we said, you know, this is right on the borderline. We don't have to disturb this any wetlands exactly to go in here, but we said, you know what, we're going to file an RDA just to make sure that, everybody's on, that everybody understands what we're doing. Um, the farm crossing is really a, uh, um, Oh no, oh, this sorry, is 10 Bigelow, good. yeah, sorry, <laughs> wrong one. It's not a super defined stone culvert like you'd see in some farm crossings it's it's more like a rubble crossing where you know it's kind of like some rock that's been put in there and there's some you know but be doesn't mean we want to put some the the excavator looked at it and he said listen we really got to put some steel plates on there to get the excavator across and where we're going across in an area that's really close to wetlands we want to just come before him and just make sure you understood we're not looking to disturb any wetlands It'd be a very quick you know what uh, size excavator uh, I mean, I don't think we're going to be doing a full size, um, a but bigger than a mini, I think. So a mini. Uh, 
a midi. Yeah. 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 Okay. Probably one with a grading blade on it. Yeah. I think, but probably the biggest one you'd see with a grading blade on it. So not a full size like 150, but probably the next step down. But they'd like to put, they want to put some steel plates on there. Um, the trees aren't bad through here. It's wooded on this slope and it's wooded across here, but we don't think we have to take, do any um, extensive tree removal. We can, we can pick our way through the trees and get across. And then once we're across, <clears throat> we'll be testing in the upland areas. It's just a matter of getting across that. Uh, the, the, it's a perennial stream that exists through there with a, with a uh, boarding resource area. So um, we looked at alternate, we actually looked at maybe utilizing the railroad bed to get in there. Um, and uh, it's just not enough real estate next to the tracks to get an excavator in there um, to be able to do that. So, right. Then, uh, so that's the same size as the one you found across from 40 caves. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just so you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so really, pretty minimal disturbance. We'd be in. We, we maybe do a couple days of testing depending. on Soils go, but um, you know we'd be coming in, probably leaving the plates, and on the way out we would take the plates. And, mm -hmm. you know, Is that mm -hmm. an existing building right there? This here, yeah, it's, that's, it's that's just the house. house. That's yeah. the Across building. Show. Show oh, okay. yeah. Next to Willie's house. Before my time. Well, we're not Next looking to. to um, yeah. Th this land isn't looking to be purchased, but they are work looking at working a deal uh, with them for access and things into the part into the parcel. So. Um, but I'm not sure what they're, if they're selling. I don't, th this property is not part of the land deal uh, to be okay. purchased, but it is part of the deal uh, in a sense that um, they, they, have, they have some agreements with that owner uh, for access and things. So this owner, of course, has gotten notification of the RDA. We actually gave them the notice of the RDA um, prior to filing it with you just so they knew what was going on. So. And the RDA is on their property. It is, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so as I, required I, when you file, it's right. a little bit I, of an atypical situation. Yeah, because um, that was definitely yeah. when I read this when it came through yeah. in the email. I'm like, mm, does yeah. the homeowner know? Yeah, they do. <laughs> uh, we actually the the only obligation you have under the act, the the uh, Weather's Protection Act, is to notify them that you're filing an RDA on their property, which we of course did. Do you? Uh, but do you prior have to, verification of that notification. Well, we do. I didn't bring it this evening. But okay, we so we would. Need I I would want that just to have it in the file. Okay. Just well, just in case. Yeah. Well, we can you know. give that to you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we actually gave them the you know even before we filed it with you just to make sure that the first time they weren't getting the application in the in the mail wasn't you know the formal uh, the, the the formal application. Um, sure. We gave them a pre. Uh, yeah. Um, what about other abutters or uh, um, do we know how many feet from there? Well, it's an RDA, so you don't really have yeah. a notification. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Yeah. But of course, you know, I think we notified for the ANRAD. You notified for the ANRAD, but not for an RDA. So right. it's one of those things. It's right, little, right. Um, when we finally have a project, <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll, of course, be in a notice of intent ter territory, and we'll, we'd, be, we'd be in that. Uh, about a notification. And then once you get up there, or over yeah. there, yeah, you, I know how we don't. I don't have anything that shows the railroad bed or the other side. Right. And that's pretty wet back there. It is, but oh, there's boy. upland right up adjacent to the, um, so we're not proposing to do any impact to the wetlands at all. So you're not past. taking the excavator past the We're going to go bed. on the other side of the railroad bed, but we're going to stay on that upland side. That's, so that's I don't see any of that, though. Right, but we don't, there's no, there'll be no wetlands impacts with that work. Because we're not proposing to cross off of any wetlands. What right. So the only thing the RDA really is for is that crossing. Is the crossing. Yeah, just to get it, just to get across the stream to get into that, to that area. But once we get over there, we're not proposing any, um, any alteration or crossing of any wetlands. Okay. Otherwise, we would have filed that too. Did you talk to the state about crossing that railroad? Bed? We're they're in contact. Actually, it's CSX that owns that railroad now. We believe. Mm, um, no. Well, you DCR. tell me. DCR on site? DCR. Yeah. And the rail trail will be coming through there. Oh, no kidding. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Probably within the next four or five years. Oh, that's great to know. Yeah. Because we did some research and it looked to, to us like the, uh, like that, like that stuff, like those, um, that right of way uh, flowed down to CSX. Not, certainly not there. They, okay. um, DCR holds the lease 
from Hudson, really, okay. Sudbury and Stowe yep. and Hudson, all the way to Coburn, definitely to Coburn Road here in Berlin. Okay. Good. Um, That's good to know. I'm yes. <laughs> yes. Been There's been, his attorney's been working on that. I've a little bit. I've just been preparing some exhibits, but I was under the understanding that uh, CSX had uh, had sort of ended up with that. No. Title. So on our website, there's actually a link to the most recent state feasibility study. Okay. That they've yep. done. If. Yep. That's helpful. I tried to go through assessing, and the assessing information was just sort of blank on it. It didn't really have yeah. any information. Yeah, when, when you click on it <laughs> yeah, and nothing, sort of nothing comes yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, so let me ask you this. Do you think that there's a house lot on the other side of that railroad? Uh, well, we think there's upland area there that, that might, may or may not You're be You're hoping to go over, in other words, to find a place to build on the other side of the railroad. Yeah, depending on what, what the, the project is. Mm -hmm. um, there may be some some usable land over. Well, there is some usable land over there. To, you know, access is is certainly up in the air right now. But right, because you'd have to put a street in. Right. 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 So. Isn't so, so if the rail trail goes through that, mm -hmm. would they be able to cross the rail the rail trail to build a house on the other side? No. Well, n not. Really. That's all in question. No. But that's right. not the subject of this. You know. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, we're, well, it is we are. Us. I mean, everybody there, look at any little piece of land that the developers can get their hands on in this lovely little town. Oh, I understand. They want to cash in on it. <laughs> and, every, and I don't every, want them to. Every lovely little and town. And I want to protect the environment. Right. Yep. So yep. I'll be talking to the state about that, that rail trail. You no, know, I'm glad to hear that. Th I'm <laughs> happy to, that you notified me. Yeah. That that's DCR because I'm not sure that was on their, uh, <clears throat> their screen. So. Okay. Yep. Um, so the question before us is allowing plates to be put over the farm crossing yep. for a week or less. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably talking a few days. Yeah. You didn't get as much snow as we got up on my, my way, so. Are you up by Ashby? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Where's the fine? Show me the um, farm crossing on the map. It's right here. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, right on the edge of that problem. Here, Walter, here's another copy. Oh, yeah, I see where it is. Yep. And then it kind of opens up into a pond over here on the back side of this. And that flows down into Hogbrook, right? I believe so, yeah. 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 It's mighty awful wet in there. Yeah. Yep. So there's the highlands right there where the old teepee was. No, so it's going to be these ones. Right. So that's not that crossing, right? We're just voting on the crossing, not right. where the excavator is going to be romping through. Correct. Okay. Right. So we're just voting on the crossing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's Can it then. Um, Right, because everything else is not in our purview at this time. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, it's just soil testing that we're looking to do at this point. Of course, if we have, if we end up with a project here down the road, we'll be back before you for notice of intents and things. But we're, we're well, the crossing is in our purview. Right, but that's it. Right, right. Well, my concern is up, up the way. I can't see where the railroad bed is and those other properties. How wet it is up mm -hmm. there with the excavator. Right. Because I only have yeah, but again, just we'll, a cookie cutter piece of what he wants. We wouldn't to show be me. going. Anywhere near the wetlands over there. So you, we can't put a septic system in Berlin within 100 feet of the wetlands anyway, so there'd be no sense in testing when that buffer zone. So we're not, we're not looking to do that. Logical. Yeah, he didn't say how big of a tank he's going to put in where he can. <laughs> Logical. So are those parcels all owned by one person? Or Yes. Um, Wilson, isn't it? Yeah, it's Wilson's land. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's this chunk here, and then I think there's three more pieces, three or four more parcels on the other side of the... Um, of the My understanding there. of the National Grid Zone, I think it's National Grid, right? Um, Who's New that? New England Power. New England Power. New England Power easement, yeah. That's a no build in that lane. Yeah, that's an interesting easement. Um, we've worked in that, on that easement further north. Yeah, um, and it, it, it's definitely a segmented easement uh, up north. Um, they've actually relinquished um, rights on that easement on a few parcels that we know of up north hmm. that we've worked on. So, okay. uh, but yes, that's a definitely an encumbrance on the on the property. The um, development up on uh, Sawyer Hill Road there that um, Rhodes did that the yeah. easement they couldn't touch they couldn't get on that. 
right away. I did one in Bolton, just on the south, right on the edge of, of Bolton, um, where they were able to build in it, but it took forever. <laughs> it took a long time. So <laughs> to get so, to permission get, yeah, from them to get them to relinquish, right. basically. So, it took a long time, but, so there's a lot of developers that just kind of say, "I'm not going to wait." Um, so that's that's certainly in play as well. Right. We well, let's hope these guys think that too. But <laughs> uh, so back to the crossing. Anybody have any other questions about the crossing? I'd like to see it. You okay? Do you want to do a site walk? Go out and yep. Okay. Same. Okay. We'd like to do a site walk. Okay. Um. So. I think, so the first thing, um, let's vote to extend this meeting, and then we'll talk about the That's site. fine, yeah, and I probably should, I'll need to get coordinate access through my client, through the owner. Sure. So if you can give me maybe a couple dates. Oh, yeah, good. yep. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so um, we're going to extend this hearing to the next meeting. Pending a site walk. Is that the fourth, third? Um, yeah, it's something. Yeah. What, I think it is April. Well, it might be the fifth. Might be the fifth. Yeah, one's the Monday. What do you got for me? I think Monday's the third. <clears throat> yep. The fifth? Yeah. Okay. So. And Maddie, we don't have anything on for that night, correct? No. So we can do some 15 again. Yep, that's fine. Perfect. And, um, and I can definitely bring you, or even before that, get you the documentation on the uh, notification to the. Uh, that would be great. Yeah. Yes, I'd like to just have that in the sure. file. Absolutely. Just I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Been doing yeah. this a little too uh, long I now. Get yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, we. We, we mess up every once in a while, but we've been doing a lot, so we... <laughs> yeah, yep, exactly. Um, yeah, and you guys do a lot of work around yeah. here, yeah. so... Mm -hmm. Seth, like, has his name on yeah. one of those yeah. <laughs> chairs. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, all right, so we'll... Um, do you want to just get back to me with a schedule for the... Right, or I mean, or do we want to try to... I mean, I, we could do something... Maybe get a couple tentative, and then I can get back to you with uh, once I confirm them. I, I don't anticipate any problems. So I just want to. I just want to be after twelve. I'm good. Right, and it's lighter. It's <laughs> it is light later yeah. now. And I can right. we can accommodate whatever the at, at your convenience. Right. Yeah. Assuming that it's okay with the owner of the property. But sure. So I don't have any limitations. Do you have snowshoes? Hmm? Do you have snowshoes? <laughs> Snow have no shoes? Shoes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got two uh, feet. We got two feet in Lunenburg. No, so. Did you really? Look, a little, no. look oh, like you got a little less down. Yeah. 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 Just a little. Oof, man. Yeah. I, I, I have family in Ashby. Yeah. And they got 30. Like 30 inches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's crazy. Insane. Okay. They're probably still without power. Does do so? What are you're pretty available? I'm you don't available, have any trips yeah, planned or anything? No. Okay. And you're pretty open as well? Yeah, my, my work schedule is pretty open. <laughs> Should we try to do something Brad. next week then? Or, um, maybe, uh, uh, yeah, I'm good. Right, so next week, next week I can do Tuesday, I can do Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday are my best days. Yeah, I could do Tuesday afternoon, say after... Uh, 2.30, or Wednesday I could do, um, um, what about Thursday? Yeah, Wednesday's tough, I got a, yeah. big, I got a big meeting Tuesday. that night. Uh, cool. Thursday I could do pretty much any time in the afternoon. All right. And what about the um, Tuesday one? T Tuesday would work any time for me after, say, 2.30. What is that? Metro's uh, it's, it's, oh, call it so th Thursday th is better for you as well. Yeah. Three, yeah. yeah. Two, Thursday would be 12. best for me on, as well. All right. So give let, a little chance for snow to melt too, maybe. Right. That'd be nice. Yeah. Let's shoot for Thursday the twenty third. Okay. 
I have a hard stop at 4:30 because of a school activity with Grace. So. Okay. Sure. Do you, you want to say? Done by then? You want to say like three o'clock or? Yeah, sure. Right. If three we do that, it's going to just be you boys, but that's okay. Well, is I don't, that I, I is don't that have to go. go. Okay. I, um, yeah. I'll think about it. Yeah. All right. We'll see. All right. So we're saying Thursday. Thursday at three o'clock. Twenty-third. And I'll um. Who, who should I well, confirm well. that with once I, well. I confirm it with Walsh? Well, I confirm that with Maddie? Or? Yeah. Yeah, you can email. And I'll so do okay. you need a motion? Um, sure. Let's, let's vote on it just okay. to make sure. No, I'll make a motion that we extend this hearing until our next meeting pending the outcome of the, not the outcome, pending having the site visit. Perfect. Prior. Yeah. Uh, second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Where specifically we're going to meet for this? Um, let's plan on right in that driveway of. Um, I'll send you an email. Uh, right in um, 248 Central Ave. The purple house. Yeah, it's blue. <laughs> blue. That's between the blue. pet shop right, and blue. the other pet shop. <laughs> yes, I don't know if you call the other one a pet shop, no. but yes. <laughs> I think that's blue, right? Yeah. Maddie, can I get your it email just blue. to make sure it's I have it? Beautiful house. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, nice house. Yeah, it's, it's like a navy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. Not quite a navy blue. No, it's not purple. At town of Berlin. <laughs> silly, silly man. All one word. Yeah. Yep. The other okay. house used to be a beautiful. I should know that, too. but I just want to make sure. <laughs> I hope they fix it up. <laughs> dot <laughs> org so, or I don't know. Uh, dot com. Someone bought it. Yeah, I had to look back. Oh, I have all kinds of information. They're all different. Yes, exactly. And when I type mm -hmm. conservation and I get like five towns because yep. all, all the towns have conservation. Right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Um, so, all right. So we'll um, put it in your schedules. Yeah. I'll send an email confirmation too after I confirm. Did we say a time or just those? Three o'clock. Okay. Three o'clock. I mean, and again, I'll um, I'll confirm or deny that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right. Three p.m. Wayne, three minutes to spare. Greg, <laughs> how are you? Holy cow, how you been? He was, I, when I first met him, he was like 17 years old. <laughs> Look at you. How are you doing? You grown up pretty big. Yeah, I know. Hey, you got a little gray, too. How are things? I got a shirt. Hey, let's, let's talk. Let me, let me give you a call next week. Just say hello. Catch up. See this? Isn't this cute? Uh, it is. It's <laughs> adorable. It's like trading baseball cards. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the cookies were fun. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> we should. <laughs> After the healing, we'll offer one. Oh, no. Not at all. Oh, I knew that. I knew it was a lot of fun. Good seeing you. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Whole thing. I know, right? That's awesome. <laughs> you can watch that later on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, you can watch that moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can edit it out, right? No, no, no they could. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, just you or is Kathy coming? Uh, she'll be here. All right. Uh, you want to start? Forget all of us. Forget all of us. Great you. you too. How's 2023 been? Slow, actually. Which really? has been nice. Yeah, yeah. what a change, huh? Yeah. Insane. Yeah. What a change. Yeah, it's been, it's been nice. We've, uh, it's been insane for years. It, it's, it's slowed down a little bit. Yeah, I it think. hasn't been dead, but. We'll I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it, you know, so. Yeah, there were several years of too much. being on the treadmill. Yeah. yeah too much just too much so it's it's nice but yeah we've got uh yeah still did my uh seven days a week for the last month but still there but <laughs> not as bad right you know, it's only 10 hours instead of 18 but uh thanks for having us so kathy will be here shortly okay everybody survived the snow yeah what did you guys get up here for like snow three inches yeah that's about what we yeah. got yeah it was just all heavy fell, and... but it just kept 
Yeah, melting. it just yeah. kept compressing. Yeah, my, uh, yeah. My, uh, total was more than three inches. My business right. partner yeah. got close to thirty up in Holden. Yeah, that was crazy. That you know? close. Yeah, so it's it's crazy. Well, up there, the, the, it's a different climate from Westboro. Yeah, you know, it's yep. it's got to be like twenty degrees colder mm -hmm. up there. You know, so yep. yeah, I think Sterling got like a foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the other side of Clinton. Yeah, so, right. yeah. Yeah, I West saw. West Boylston got 13 inches. Did they really? West mm -hmm. Boylston did really. Wow. Mm -hmm. No yeah, kidding. Yeah. So I had watched some footage tonight on Channel 4 News, and they showed some footage of literally, um, I forgot what the, the interstate was, but they, they went down this interstate. One side was all snow, and the other one was nothing. It was that. That's, you know, device. How do they you know? know to build highways along those lines? It's amazing. <laughs> that's, why that's, that's why they're transportation engineers. Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> so I do appreciate you folks, your patience uh, on the project. Um, I know that. Um, so we did speak with, so for the record again, uh, because we're on YouTube here, uh, Wayne Bellick, Land Design Collaborative, uh, here on behalf of. Uh, Kane Industrial Trust, Kathy Adams, she should be here momentarily. Um, so I think when we last met, um, Patrick was uh, had just issued a letter, or about to issue a letter. We've had some correspondence uh, with him in going back and forth. Um, I think we we're a little delayed just because of his workload and, and ours. Uh, so I think we, you know, as, as this commission does, have a full appreciation for this slight uh, lull. Yeah. Uh, so we had a, a, a very good uh, discussion. I do appreciate his comment. It was a, a in his his, uh, his letter a lengthy phone call with me. So which is typical, you know, as you know. So uh, we went through all the items. If you'd like, we can go through them uh, with the commission as well. Uh, do you guys want to do that, especially since we're waiting for? Well, we'll about them a little bit. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah we reports. can do kind of a Reader's Digest version. Sure. Really, for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I can be hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> Hope is all we have, I think. That's right. Right. So we had. So the long and short is uh, we had gone through um, the letter um, item by item. Uh, and uh, a lot of the information that uh, we had was on the plans or in the report, just somewhat obscured. Um, he did have questions about uh, the test pits uh, on site. So that was one of the things that he was going to look into after we provided him with a plan, which I do have the plan here and I can show it to the, the commission. I have the test pits in red. Uh, and our contention was that we had enough testing out there and then when I looked at the plans, it looked like it was on uh, another test pit layer because of the dates, mm -hmm. varying dates. So then when he looked at that, he, he was satisfied with the, the information we had. And the testing that we provided uh, in, in the soils reports had all that the test pit data in them. We just didn't show them all on the plan. Now they were all on the plan. Okay. Um, and that was the only thing that he had um, that he had to, to circle back on. But if you, if you look at his comments, uh, basically there are no further comments uh, required. So, Walter, that's the piece of paper, that top one. Yep. That's all. This is a, co that's a copy of Pat's report. Yeah. So there's no further uh, comments required is pretty much what he uh, uh, has stated. One of the comments he made was about the Rawls rate, which is basically how quick it, it infiltrates into the ground. Uh, and he says that the Rawls rate that we use appears to be correct. Um, one of the things that he wanted to see was that prior to the start of construction, I would expect to see this in the order, uh, that the flags be refreshed. refreshed. Yeah. Uh, and we would do that. Um, now there were some, well, first, I know that this doesn't have to do with this filing, but mm -hmm. I'm a little bit concerned about the state of the crossing. Mm -hmm. um, is there any plans to make the crossing what 
the filing was for? Yes, okay. there are. There are. So the, the situation they wanted to be in is when they were looking at marketing the project, um, they kind of changed gears a little. So they had the work done out there. They drilled the well. They put metal plates over the, the culvert. As you know, it's an old stone culvert. So what they had done is they placed crushed stone and then uh, metal plates, you know, half inch thick metal plates over it to distribute the loads as they went over the, uh, the culvert um, and as a temporary measure to get to the other side. They installed the well, um, created the access drive to get up uh, to it, um, and then we said, okay, so, and then, you know, the, the rains had come, so I said, all right, we don't want to be playing around with that, with the, with the <coughs> rains and everything. Let's direct our focus to the, the access drive because they wanted to market the property. So we went before the Hudson Commission, uh, and uh, they got a driveway curb cut permit, and then they constructed that access drive. So the next step is going in and working that culvert. First, what they're going to do, as I said to Patrick, um, in that in the order uh, it stated that they would construct a replication area prior to doing that culvert the, the crossing which is a bridge actually right. that's right a bridge with all of the with a conduit yep. correct yeah yep so they would be doing the replication area first so that would be first on the docket putting in the erosion sediment control measures uh, uh, constructing the the wetland replication and then going in and doing the, the bridge work so I think that question is better answered by Kathy in terms of their their timing on this my last conversation with her on this which was in terms of the timing on it was about a month ago and she says we just want to get this going so that's where it is she can confirm that when she gets in here so uh, all right that would be done at that time and then there were some comments by DEP yep so, um, are those in Pat's notes or are those separate? Uh, so, I had them uh, in my letter. Uh, in the DEP comments, uh, Pat's notes pretty much married what DEP had. They had a question about the number of test pits, and again, like I said, that, that was addressed. Um, they had questions about the proximity of scary that I'm remembering this <laughs> very scary but the proximity of the and I can show this to you the the plunge bowls no the the infiltration to the the uh, wetland area oh yep so right so just right, just for the first. yes for the record I need to recuse myself from this vote okay Right. So, cool. yeah, which we forgot about. All right. I'll see you after. Oh, I'll, be right, I'll be right there. Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for that. It was like, yeah. Yeah. No. Geez, what has changed? <laughs> totally forgot. <laughs> so, basically, what they were looking at, in, uh, so DEP and Pat had said, and they were correct, that infiltration systems under the, the state regulations can be no closer than 50 feet to a wetland resource area. Mm hmm in looking at the limits of this system, which is all this in blue, right? Clearly, that's within 50, uh, 50 feet. This is your 25. Well, that n not so much there, but this is your 25. So that would be within 50 feet mm -hmm. right here, uh, right here. That's fine. But basically, it was this area of the system mm -hmm. that was within 50 feet. What I explained to... Uh, uh, to Pat was this portion of the system with this hatching in here this system this portion is not infiltration only this portion in here and this this system here basically what we're proposing is if you look at the system sitting like this and if the you know with the 50 foot buffer casting over this area up the majority of the system is going to have an impermeable liner in it because it's it's within two feet of the offset to the ground right water. i do remember you t yeah. talking about that and it's only this area in here so i explained that to pat he he said okay i see it that was one of the comments that dep had the other comment was again with the testing uh, and whether or not we had enough testing within uh the areas and as you can see within red they're all over the place <coughs> 
Um, Excuse me, just to, I'm not quick. Is that a, a, a stormwater thing or is it a sewage? Stormwater. Stormwater. So yep. that's infiltration with the stormwater on the site. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what was the other thing they had? They made a comment as which was consistent with Pat's uh, about in overestimating runoff rates, and they said that you um, something about overestimating the runoff rates and using the the wooded areas uh, in the uh, existing conditions calculations when there is some disturbance out here. To, to Pat uh, and responded uh, back to them uh, him on that is basically the the uh, in the in DEP I believe they made yes they did make reference to aerial photos and my response to that is you could look at a site and from the sky it looks like a tropical rainforest lush green and everything but when you get out down on the ground it's not like that hmm. you have cart paths that go through sites but you know, if they fly the uh, the aerial in the in the dead of summer, you're going to see a, a, a lush forest. So what I my response to that, and as I said to, to to Pat, was that the survey and the the cover types were based on an on the ground uh, topographic survey, and not aerial photographs. Right, right. So the fifty foot stormwater, the test pits, overestimating the, um, is it cover types is how she worded it? CN? Curve number, runoff curve number. Right. Overestimate, overestimating the average, existing average CN value can result in the underestimation of change in peak runoff Agreed. due to development. Yep. A review of aerial imagery appears to show a wooded lot. Please review the use of cited low quality water, uh, low quality values, or provide additional information. All treatment trains require an individual TSS worksheet. Yep. So we had two treatment trains. Uh, rooftop runoff didn't require one because that, that's clean uh, runoff. But uh, anything tributary uh, to the infiltration system, Madam Chair, right there where your hand is. Yep. Um, we had a treatment train. We had one for the uh, a catch basin discharging into it, and then the other one for a stormwater treatment unit, which I think we're using the storm scepter. Um, so we did provide those two treatment trains. Lost in the in the report. A lot of material, if you remember that report right. was fairly. And so. We don't have paper updated paper copies of this. I can correct? easily get you the updated paper copy of this. Right. Um, and has the actual filing been updated with any of this information? So, with with that particular sheet, because that would be the only sheet to change. Right. Um, so we could uh, issue that as an addendum to the plan set, or you know reprint the plan set and include it in there, however you'd like to do it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'd like a clean set. Just, clean set of plans. Yeah. It, I always think about someone looking in the file 20 years from now. I won't and be when here. They're, well, Isn't that scary? Forbid, Isn't that scary? <laughs> hopefully I won't either. You know, but, <laughs> right? These discussions. Just a couple of kids. You right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't bring everybody down, right? You know? I just started a new job in September, and somebody said to me recently, "This could be your last job." I'm like, <laughs> I'm like "Wait a minute! <laughs> if I'm there for a really long time, uh, uh, but yeah, it's killer." Yeah, so I'd like to have everything as clean as possible for future people mm -hmm. okay. looking at things. One set of plans, Madam Chair, or two. Uh, I think just one. Okay. Yeah. And are we looking for a conclusion tonight? I mean, is that is that your hope? Ideally, yes. I mean, I think we're there. Other than other than that plan set. 
which I will get that to you by tomorrow. Um, all right. Well, this feels a little like insider trading, but <laughs> because I know things <laughs> I from the planning board also. Yep. Um, planning? Yeah. We Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it's like we filed with planning. <laughs> I, I now I remember you're on the planning board. Yes, as well. yes, yes. Um, if you have to do, if you do wind up using the other side of this for parking or whatever, um, you're going to refile mm -hmm. this. You're our most sincere hopes is that's not going to happen. Ours as well. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and Madam Chair, we, I think we have a strong enough argument for that not to happen. So Good luck. That's where we are. Hi, it's going to be, <laughs> it'll be tough. I think it would be a, a, a travesty to have that happen. I agree. Absolutely. Um, we did do a, um, we did look at the required parking spaces for this. And I will tell the commission tonight that it would be devastating to this area. Oh, indeed. Absolutely devastating. Yeah. And it, it's not the right thing to do. Um, the retaining walls uh, would be, was one retaining wall several hundred foot long. That would be about 30 feet in height. Yeah. Yeah, no, it would it's be crazy. horrible. It's crazy. Yeah. So we are seeking and relief from the town. Ridiculous. Yeah. To just um, allow the this configuration here. So our plan is that um, we would certainly hope that this is what gets built and not more parking uh, and we're going to work toward that end. If going through the ZBA it's determined that they do require more parking then uh, we're going to assess if it's very little we might consider an amendment to the order but it may be uh, to the point where we would just refile. A new notice. Hopefully, that is not the case. Right, and Hopefully. still no consideration of making the building actually smaller. Uh, we, in, in looking at this type of uh, facility, the R and D type of facility, um, this is pretty much the model footprint. In fact, right next door, um, Entwistle is about 150,000 square feet, so it's about as small as we want to be. Right, and we feel again. That you know, if even if you look at 100 employees per sh per shift, I don't know how many people drive to work driving two vehicles at once, you know, and that's basically what it would you know when you look look at this, uh, the number of employees will be anywhere be from 60 to 100. We have 132 spaces. Awesome. All right. Um, so it's. I mean, does anybody have any other questions? It's been a while since we've looked at this, but I do know that Pat has looked at it, and I do know that he's comfortable with it. Um, is, is, this, is this a spec building, or do you have somebody lined up? Nobody at this point. So it's a spec building. It's a spec so building. So you don't know if it's going to be 60 or 100 employees or 25 or 30, actually? That That's correct. That's correct. But we feel that the parking... Uh, is more than adequate for what the the building would support. She's thinking that uh, the top end would be 100 employees. So, for instance, if you look at Entwistle, um, they're at 95 employees for 150,000 square feet. So, if we prorated it, we'd be at, and that's where I came up with the number 60. There'd be 62 employees here, 61 or 62. Right. So, with 132 parking spaces, even at that. I think there's more than enough parking spaces, or probably too much, but again, we couldn't. Right, I think it's just finding a way to impose limits on what the building would be used for. Yep. And by doing that in some way would make them more comfortable with the number of spaces. Because right. if it's left open to anything, mm. that's not mm. going to fly. Yep. Great. Yep. Um, all right. Going once. Going twice. J just one question on the infiltration thing there. Here. The the, over here, this one. Oh, okay. 
So there's parts of that that don't meet the distance requirements? To, yes, horizontal. Well, it does meet it horizontally because we're putting an impermeable liner uh, in the area. If we didn't have this impermeable liner here, it wouldn't meet the horizontal setback. The reason we have the, the horizontal uh, or the impermeable liner is not so much to to comply. Obviously, we would look to comply. But if if we were to comply, let's say we had this situation here. So, so let's say, as I said, the area that wouldn't comply is just this amount of here. So the objective was to uh, cover this whole area because that whole area is not uh, – two feet or greater from groundwater because of the topography coming up the hill. So we had to do something in order that they, they wouldn't be uh, uh, groundwater contact from the rooftop runoff. So again, this is rooftop runoff, so we, even if you look at it, it's clean runoff, not yeah. dirty runoff, not yeah. pavement runoff. So that's for the rooftop. Then. That's for the rooftop. And that will be going through um, a cistern. Uh, so it'll go through from the rooftop into a cistern, so it'll con mm -hmm. constantly replenish. Like this? That, that is located right here. Okay. Oh, there you go. So that would be filled for a fire cistern and any overflow goes, goes this way? That's correct. Yeah. And what happens is if we have a situation where the float... So basically it, that cistern is going to operate in terms of replenishing the, the water within the cistern, uh, somewhat like a, uh, a pump chamber would. So it, the, the, the elevation, once it drops to a, a certain level, the, the pump kicks on, there's a well right next to it, uh, that it will refill the, the tank. Um, and then if you get uh, rooftop runoff, that will, that will replenish it. I know that a number of communities um, you know, fire departments don't like it because, you know, if you have, let's say, a subdivision road, they end up at the end of the day, once the road is accepted by the town, they take ownership of the cisterns. And what they say is that a lot of times you go to these things and the water is stagnant and it's nasty. So what this does is that just keeps it, keeps it replenished so you don't have that stagnant water. There's always water moving through. Uh, was Pat's <coughs> only questions about this the test pits? Yes. That was the data layer that was turned off. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, it, exactly. I feel like it's been so long since we've yeah, looked at this. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah. I Good for you. just want to make sure we're. Well, I have missed you, folks. I'm sure you, know, you have. I've been at home with her. <laughs> Trust me, I've missed you. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. I might tell your husband that you guys are moving out because the house is no longer yours. Um, actually, Kathy, I, I'm glad you're here. Um, we're, I think we're getting ready to vote, but I did just have a question about the timing of the bridge over the, um, at the crossing back here. Yes. Just kind of what you're thinking. So it kind of depends on what w ends up happening with the Zoning Board of Appeals on what they're going to require us to do for parking. So 
as soon as we know what we're going to be required to do, that's when we know what we got to build. Okay. So that's it's going to happen as soon as we can. But that's a great point. That's one of the things that with the ZBA that if we have to expand the parking, right now I think we're at like 16 or 18 feet. It's a very narrow crossing as we come through here, if you right. remember. That will have to go to 24 feet. Right. So that's just, again, one more reason why we don't like the idea. Yeah, right. <laughs> We've done going, going. Now are we doing gone? Um, I guess I, so I definitely want paper copies. Yep. A whole fresh set. Yep. Um, Get that over to you tomorrow. Okay. Oh, Maddie, you'll keep an eye out You'll be that. in tomorrow, Maddie, right? Yep. All right. So what time? Oh, I come in after <laughs> my other job, so I'll come in around four. <laughs> okay. Check our mailbox, yeah. basically. All right. <laughs> yep. All right. That might work then. Yeah. Oh, well, you'll receive it if, if we brought it in. Yeah, if you bring it in. It. Yep, they'll print it. Yeah, they'll and put it just, in the mailbox. Just so there's mailboxes right out here in the hall. Yep. Okay. So um, we just leave it right in there. And, yep. Oh, or on top of it. That's it nice. probably won't fit in our little slot, but. Mm -hmm. I'll make it um, fit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> One of these. Be gentle. I don't know how sturdy that thing is. Um, all right. So I guess I'll take a motion to accept the revised plan. Do we have a date on this? So we'll have, I'll have tomorrow's date on it. So I'll put, we'll revise the plans. We'll put revision dates on it. Okay. So it'll be tomorrow's uh, dates, which would be the 16th. March 16th. Plans dated March 16th. And they're drawn by whom? Drawn by, did you draw these? Drawn by JTA, whoever the heck that yeah, is. It's the landscape architect. Right, and they're not so stamped either. This one isn't, but the plan set is. Okay. So if you want the, the PE, that's Michael Scott. Okay. Also chair of the Holding Commission. They're, that's a stacked commission. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't want to go before them. <laughs> they fought with them years ago. They had gone before them. Um, all right. It, it, I don't love voting on a plan that is not the one that's going to go in the file. Mm -hmm. I assure you, I will have it here tomorrow. If I don't, she will what? Right? Will you kill me? <laughs> she's I'll like, if, she's like, if I haven't by now. <laughs> I will have it here tomorrow. Now, my only other thing was, now Pat recommends like monitoring throughout this whole process. Right. Well, and you guys have already so agreed be? to the monitoring yep. and we have a deposit okay. check for the okay. monitoring. Yep. Perfect. Right. Okay. Yeah. I just want to yep. clarify yeah. that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's good to kind of have that in the record. Okay. Um, all right. Is anybody going to make a motion? Well, so the motion is to what? To accept the revised plans, mm -hmm. which will have tomorrow's date on them for um, ten Bigelow Road. Yep, for ten for the grading and drainage plan for ten Bigelow Road. Second. Okay. Second. Oh. Neither one of you, you wants you, to you, claim you, it. You made a motion. <laughs> oh, I thought he said so. <laughs> yeah, I thought he said so. Move, so I second. All right, we're gonna have Walter move this one. All right. And Louis second. All right, I'll, I'll just so move what you said. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you. So.
I want to work with you guys again, so I'm going to do everything I can to get something going in town. You guys are a good group. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. So, hopefully with another client. And now that that's done, I can offer you a cookie. Do you guys, Maddie made home a cookie? Really? Oh, Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this a cookie break? This is a cookie <laughs> break. <laughs> yeah, <it's back. laughs> gonna, I would not want somebody handing me a cookie. And you, you're, you're trusting my hands to hand you a cookie. You're right. You're just, to that's disgusting. Yeah, there you go. Thank, Thank you, Maddie. Maddie. <laughs> they look delicious with the milk. <laughs> At the store. <laughs> 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 And cookie so break, some anybody? Of the, um, <laughs> I'll take another one. All right. Yeah, they're good. Those are really good. <laughs> oh, I also just wanted to check. You guys were able to pay off that ad? That yeah. Okay. Did you? Yes, yeah, so the one you sent me said zero. No, it didn't. You were here. If you read further <laughs> down, it was 200. Up at the top, it says. All right. Here, you can take that copy. Thank yeah, you. See so that. if you look up at the top. <laughs> no, mine said zero right here, amount due. I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, so I think that's... I wonder if that's because they billed us. This is what... No, I think you're looking at this, Kathy. That's what yeah. you gave me. Yeah, so at the top it says I zero. I never got this. So, okay. So watch. So I'll pay this tomorrow. Guess who's right again? Watch this. How are them apples? I'll wait till I go outside. All <laughs> right. It's going to hurt me. <laughs> but these are delicious. Well, thank yeah, you very much. <laughs> thank you. All right. You're welcome. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Mr. Bob Blair, come on up. <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. So let's actually make this a whole Earth Day update. Okay. Well, we can, you know, after things, we can get back for it. You don't want to do all the Earth Day stuff at once? Uh, it'll be quick. They can wait. They can wait. It yeah. won't take us okay. that long. Please. Yeah. All right. Do you want to do the update? Do you want to yeah, do the update? Could, all, all right. right. We'll right. yeah, get okay. here, Bob, out first. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me change. So we're going to put this up at the transfer point tomorrow. Can I see that? Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, pass it around. It says roadside cleanup bags available here. Pass these around. Did you and grab one? That's for the uh, transfer station, AJ. Yeah, That's yeah. Amazing. So, uh, and it's going to be on the outside of the building. We're not going to hide the bags. We're going to put them right there, out there where everybody can see them. Here's the flyer. It has a blue background and it's color, but we didn't make yeah. color copies. Um, it, yeah, so, um, and uh, we're just struggling with uh, a final number. We need to know how many Tahato needs. I think it's the last number we need. And we'll, mm -hmm. Uh, right. Be putting those up around town around the first of April. April, right? Awesome. And, and you're going to print them on blue paper, you said, right? Right. So, so it has the blue background without having to print an entire blue page underneath all that other stuff. Yep. Good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so we met with the town administrator because we were told that we had to, you know, talk, ask for permission. Kind of ask yep. for permission, <laughs> and she's all for. So she sent emails to the um, police department, the fire department, the highway department, and asking them, you know, if they wanted to help out on Earth Day. We got a response from Fred from the highway department. Uh, they will donate their time. Perfect. Right, and they will pay for the cost of the truck going around. The police will have three cruises out with a focus on Route 62. Wonderful. Okay. Um, we haven't heard anything from the fire department. Okay, and uh, we are also gonna contact Hudson Disposal, and we we're gonna ask you if you would drive the truck like you did last year. Okay. I didn't hit anything, so I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no right. problem. 
So those things are all in place. Awesome. Right. And you have enough bags? Uh, yes, I think we do. Okay. But we'll probably, you know, I'll probably order some from the DOT that we have in the past. Right? Okay. Um, we met with Lawrence, you know, and she's helping to organize and everything. And she was kind of suggesting that maybe, you know, like um, when we collected the nip bottles and stuff and we get the money from Hudson um, Island Liquors, yep. that the money could go for um, a scholarship for a student to go to Hans um, Nature's Classroom. Okay. And, you know, or some type of a fundraiser for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Right. And um, we're also... Yeah, see if, see if Highland Liquors is going to do what they've done in the past yeah, before right. we commit to a scholarship, but yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Unless we collected, you know, soda and beer cans and stuff like that and traded them in, but I don't know, that can be a lot of work. Right. Right. So... Awesome. And we're looking for volunteers from the rest of the commission. Yeah, I already. Yeah, and I've I don't have to work this year. Yeah, there you <laughs> it's go. First year I don't have to work on a Saturday yeah. in ages. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it for now. Okay, and then you had an idea. Yeah, I think uh, we'll, we'll when we collect everything, we're gonna just build a great big pile in front of one of the dumpsters at the transfer point. At the, yeah, the transfer station, and take a picture of it just awesome. to see what kind of volume. Yeah, nothing formal. Just, just this is what we, what we found in one day. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Now, you mentioned bags, but I think we might like to hear from. Yeah, Bob. I think we ought to hear from Bob at this point. All right. AJ's wife did a really fantastic talk in the meeting room down the way last I forget what month mm, I think it was October. October October she gave the talk to the commission too yeah pointing out how the earth has managed to inundate itself with plastic so the coats everything it's in us it's part of everything it's in the fish we eat blah 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 so I thought what better time for the Conservation Commission sponsoring the Earth Day to use not plastic bags but paper bags and I when I do it I use these from Lowe's they stand up pretty high um, AJ was pointing out what happens when you put wet stuff in well I don't I mean I'll, if you've got a bottle full of liquid I take the top off dump out the liquid throw it in these will take a little bit of liquid you wouldn't want to uh, take a 20 gallon bucket and throw it in right but they're pretty uh, helpful. And then the other thing I do is just I carry around a couple of pails, and uh, I'll stop. And this thing keeps me from doing excessive stoop labor. Um, it's also pretty good. It really will grab a can that's yep. stuck in the ground and jerk it out of the ground. Plus, you don't have to reach into briars. It's very nice that way. Yep. Or also, poison ivy. Ah, <laughs> well, depends on what time of year you're doing it. It's hard to tell. Yep. It's there. So, I mean, my, I'll stop, I'll take out two buckets and this, and I'll go toward traffic away from my car, cross the street, go up past my car, cross over and come back to the car. And if that way, in the course of that, if I fill up two of these, I'll stop and go back to the car, dump them in this, which I leave in the car. And then I get back to the transfer station later on, I'll have five, six of these. That's in the first 10 feet of uh, West Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. So you would bring them so we could add it to our collection in front of one of the dumb. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, but going forward, can, right. can we transition to paper bags instead right. of plastic? Yeah. So one problem with the, those bags is, okay, so uh, with the yellow bags, yellow plastic bags, people can leave them on the side of the road, and the highway department will pick them up any time they see them. Hudson Disposal will pick them up anytime they see them. They're not going to pick up the paper bags. Because they don't like paper or they can't see them? Because they couldn't be sure that it's not somebody's trash. Somebody's they household just left trash. on the side of the road. Right. 
And oh, some I years back we that. some years back we looked into compostable plastic. Mm -hmm. Um it's not particularly strong. That's what it's I use. Not, it's not very strong. And I've even ripped the bags that we, the yellow ones, yes, yes. Um, especially the handles. Right. But um, it is something to consider. It is definitely something to consider. Um, the thing about picking it up with these is you're, you're carrying something around that's not terribly heavy, if, even if you have a plastic bag. Right. If you're going to just use that and fill the thing up after a while, you're dragging this lucky, right. clunky <laughs> thing around. You're trying to get the top Been open. Been there. Avoid traffic while <laughs> yeah, you're right. throwing stuff Yeah, no, in. the buckets are a good idea. Oh, boy. Um, so uh, <clears throat> there's the other thing about the Lowe's bags is the expense. Um, we do get the yellow ones for free. Um, is there any approach Lowe's about no, the bags? Right. Well. So we could certainly <laughs> do that. We get those from DOT, Department of Transportation. Yep. Right. Approach them and say we want paper instead of plastic. I don't know, I don't know that they have them right. available. At least we start the ball rolling. You'll start right. a statewide right. trend. They'll right. Say, Remember Berlin? Yeah, let's do it. Well, we should, can't we try a couple dozen of those this year, experiment with them? It, absolutely. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. We really should. I mean, right. that's a good idea, Bob. Get yep. rid of that. And yeah, I no, I, I, like I said years ago, we looked at the plastic bags and were like, Ugh, right. and didn't come up with a better plan at that point. Hmm. Um, these will take, these things, when they're, they're a little bit of a pain to open up first, but then it'll stand, and they actually have these blue things you put inside and it stiffens it up so that they stand and they stay open and you can throw stuff in, even if you're carrying the bag around instead of buckets, right? it's a lot easier to throw well, stuff in when the bag's being... Do you mean rings? Yeah. Yeah, I've got some of those. That works yeah. pretty well. Um, so we could try that. Yeah. Right, and have them available at the transfer station. And well, people, where, did, where did you get that bag? Did you go down and ask Lowe's for it? No, I went and bought them. I've got about... I think there are five or six of these to a pack. They have them in the uh, outdoor... Mm -hmm garden section. Right. They're not ridiculously expensive, but like four bucks for four or five bucks for six, maybe less than that for six. Mm. Well maybe we could get people to donate them. Well there you go. Or are. even get Lowe's to donate them. Right. Or cabellas. Yep. yep. Mm. All yeah, right. I mean if somebody's going around doing the pickup, you're asking them would they mind footing the bill for four bucks in addition to their labor. I don't know what that would be going, Oh, I can't mm. do it. It's four well, bucks. It's right. pretty generous. They donated all the wood for the bridges around Brewer Road, Brewer Brook, you know, and everything. Yeah, Without okay. yeah, yeah there's a fair chance Lowe's would yeah. be willing to donate. All right. So how, how many yellow bags do we have? It? How many right. yellow bags a year do they pick up? You don't know? I, don't I know. know. That's what I was going to ask. Do you know how many yellow bags you go through a uh, year? Probably two cases. We have um, there are three cases at the. Um, Realty office, and I have a case of in how many in a case, Louise? Oh, I'm not sure about 200. So, so several that's, that's a yeah, lot. That's a lot. And then last year, um, the uh, police department gave us another box, so right. So, um, we should we have enough for this year? Is right, there still a partial box downstairs in, at the door. Is there still a partial box down there? Uh, it's empty. And well, it's I sort of had had the, the the count on it. Hmm. I was wondering if it might have the the number of bags that come in the box. Oh no, it's not a. It's not, it's not labeled for that. No, it's a, yeah. it's just a box that was I picked up and. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it's not the box they come in. Yeah, okay. If you have All a problem right. with people not finding the, I mean, just looking for yellow bags, not these. Okay. I'm happy to go around in my truck and pick up the, right. the mm -hmm. other bags. Right. It's easy yeah. enough. The other thing we can do, too, is to suggest that people buy and get the leaf bags, you know? Well, let's, let's talk to Lowe's. Right. See what we can get them to donate mm -hmm. and go from there. Right. Um, Remember when we did the sand uh, last year? They donated all those five-gallon uh, blue buckets of theirs, of 50 of them, actually. Who did? Lowe's. So we could get some to pass out to people. Just don't use my name because then I won't be able to go back and get blue buckets. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what happened to all of those blue buckets? They're still sitting in people's houses and most of them are still full of 
salt and sand given the wussy winter we had. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. I know. I'm I, not complaining. I made the mistake of buying two bags of ice melt this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Feeling so, um, yeah, we'll look into it. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yep. See if we can get them to donate buckets and bags. Mm -hmm. And that would be great. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming in. I'm taking my buckets and going. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. See you later. Thank you. And thank you for all that you do. Oh, yes. With your, your kit. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to get a group of people to clean his area of town. Awesome. Yeah, right. Excellent. All right, and then we have um, an informal discussion mm -hmm. for which Louise needs to leave the table. Yes, I will. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me tonight. You're very yeah. welcome. Reduce size plan for everyone on the conference. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so what do we got here? So, so my name is Alan Roseberry. Um, I own the property at 100 Carter Street with my business partner, Gary Spalding. That's an existing commercial building uh, zoned commercially. And uh, we, the building is used for now for my fire sprinkle contracting business and we're the sole occupant of the building. Uh, on the back side of the building, there is a residential apartment that was special permitted in variance back in the 80s. Um, and building permits back then. So that was existing when we purchased the property in the early 2000s. And is it still used as an apartment? It is. It is. And um, it's, it's up to date with its? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just just check it. Yeah. yeah, everything's current and up to date. <laughs> um, and we're proposing to um, add a uh, 64 by 45 addition on the existing commercial building. Um, we did have a ZBA special permit hearing or a plan review hearing um, in Mar this past March um, and they requested that we go to Conservation Board of Health and Fire Department just to get input for the application. Okay. Um, the building is, would, is planned to be sitting on the existing parking lot that's there now um, and it was intentionally located so they were within the current zoning setback requirements and outside of the 100 foot buffer. Um, I see that. So the yellow lines are what the civil engineer has designated as the 100-foot buffer line, and the blue rectangle is the proposed addition. Awesome. Um, I mean, I guess technically we probably should put the, this on the agenda for our next meeting so we can make an official decision, but I don't see any reason why we would have an issue with this yeah so so um this is informal but i mean you can see i look looked at this i don't see there's no issue with it so why do you even come before us again this is kind of an informal uh well because up. because it's in well it, so if zba wants us to write a letter we have to do something okay. a little more formal okay um yeah uh, the civil engineer dillson Roy was there you know their interpretation that it it was outside the 100 foot buffer so yep. th so that didn't fall under conservation jurisdiction yep and again i'm going by you know what he's recommended to me so yeah and you're still planning on putting up wattles just along yeah. the yeah you can see it's just behind yep. the yellow line around the now what's the topography does it slope down here from the back of the building it's it's flat until it gets towards the stream and then it slowly sl slopes at the back of our behind our property line outside of our property line right so i guess my so the the thing that i would mm -hmm. be concerned about is as you're digging this mm -hmm. if it was a you know a decent slope because mm -hmm. there's no topo, topo lines what are you saying it doesn't drop till after the well but oh i see so it's flat up to here yeah, and right. then drops right okay yep. yeah that's far Yep, especially with um, with the waddles. Waddles should be fine for that. 
Right, because, so again, you know, kind of the only thing right. we would be concerned about is while it's open ground, mm -hmm. if we had a big storm, all of that dirt rush, you know, getting washed into the wetlands. Understood. Um, so as long as precautions are being taken for that. Yeah, there is a detail on the plan for, like I said, I have yeah. a full size drawing here too, if you want to look at something larger than that. And then the stone recharge, that's along the back of the building? Along the back of the yeah. building, correct. Do you pave in it too? No, just the existing paving. That's the yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, we're not we're not adding any any asphalt. Cool. Are you digging up the existing pavement? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Put a real foundation. Yep. Yep. Um. Yeah. So I mean, I would be comfortable with you guys. Tell me if you're good with this. Like you guys don't even have to come in for mm -hmm. the next meeting. We could, if you could leave us a full oh, yeah. plan, yeah, um, we can just put it on the agenda for the next meeting and mm -hmm. vote on it mm -hmm. at the next meeting. Good with me. Yeah. AJ? I don't see an issue at all. Okay. Okay. Great. Awesome. Thank you. See, we're easy. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> Seems though we got a lot of conflicts here. I mean, with this one, you got somebody sitting over there. Uh, the I know, and then the last one, one he had, had to sit over here. <laughs> fingers in the. <laughs> it's weird, all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice good to see you there. again, Al. Have a good one, Al. All right. Nice to see you. See you later. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put you in charge of those and um, just you know make sure you put it on the agenda for the next meeting. Yep. All right. Moving down the list, Sudbury Valley Trustees owns the conservation land at Highland Ridge. Forty-four acres. Is that what it I think, I ended think up it being? Up yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, it's done. Right? So it's done. Yeah. No more occupancy permit conversations. Um, you, Maddie, notified the building inspector. We are out of it. So we're out of it. They, yes, yeah. you, okay. Except for yep. cleaning except the streets. For, yeah. Yeah, exa no. except for, right, exactly. Except, except for, for the, the yeah. actual filing yeah. and, you know, all of that. And the mess that Pat found once again. Surprise, I, surprise. I just, I know, right? Right after the occupancy permits. Um. I made a note of that. <coughs> Talk about that just meaning anyway. Um, I read Pat's um, summaries of what he sees up there, and every one of them, you know, the dirt in the road, and, and mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering uh, we shouldn't call the owner in and say, "Look, you need to take care of this. We'll shut you down until you do clean it up." Well, every but, single time this happens, yeah, I. You know, Pat, he usually winds up calling me just to make sure I saw the report. Yeah. And we have a conversation, and he talks to, usually he talks to Andy Rousseau, which when Rousseau's on site, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's when he's not there doing site work, the um, other people who are there are not as conscientious about it as he is. Do they have the equipment to do the things they're supposed to do? Well, no. No. Not right. when they, not, and supposedly, the last time Alex was here, he said that they were going to purchase a sweeper. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they have not. Right. Um, and, yeah, I... Well, then um, Russo should talk to these people and... Give him the word. That, um, yeah, I mean, this is. They got to be a little more. Yep, and he does. All. He, you know, and then yeah. so so something like this happens. So I forwarded this to everybody involved in Highland Ridge. So the backfill of the foundation with no wattles uh, that close to the water. That's not Rousseau's doing. Because I'd say it is. Um. He's talking about the trash here, but I'm looking mm -hmm. at, this right, at this backfill of the right. foundation with no erosion control at all. Yep. It looks like it's over 12 inches of fill with no compact report. So it 
point the finger at Alex, you can point it at Russo, but they're all not. Right. Nobody's doing what they're anything. supposed to do. Right. Right. So I talked to uh, Pat was going to go out yesterday after the rain, before the snow, but it started snowing before he could, he could out get there. out there. Yeah. Um, how much longer, how much more work do they have to do there? Every, we don't need to put up with this every week. You know, they mess something up. Right. There's a whole row still not poured yet. Yeah, the whole backside's not even poured yet. Oh. There's a lot to do. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so far not one. And all these houses, they, they pour them in, but they don't do the pavement till after. So all these contractors back into the garages to unload, get the mud on the tires. And then drive on the road. Right. Yeah. 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 And it never really much. froze this winter. No, that hasn't been ideal for anyone. Yeah. Right. Not helping. Yeah. They have not uh, pulled any building permits for any of the affordable uh, units yet. That's not true. It's not Actually, true? Correct. They have. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, but none of them have been, have been built yet. I don't know that that's true either. Mm -hmm. um, it's not supposed to be easy to know which ones are the affordable units. Right. Um, but oh, there'll be hints, it, though. It, yeah, <laughs> it is my understanding that so the way the um, the bylaw reads, they get to build so many before they have to start building the affordables, and so many, and so many, and mm -hmm. um, and that they have met those marks. Okay. Uh, Well, I will talk to Pat again. I mean, do you What's the weather this week? It's all going to melt this week, right? Mm -hmm. I believe that's true. So if Pat can go... in a couple of days in the next 10. So. Well, if Pat can go Friday, because right. there's that's a flood ten. warning right now, so it's all melting. Right. right. So it might I be a good time to go see... Yeah, I believe he's been going Saturday mornings, because then they can't say that he goes during the middle of the work day. That's fair. Yep. Um... Yeah, Saturday and Sunday rain. Good. And or snow. Yeah, have them go Saturday. Right. And see what happens. But I, you know, forward this, uh, forwarded this off to everybody, and I'm like, look, we're gonna shut you down. Mm -hmm. You, Can you we just gotta cut it out. What about sun, uh, sure. sending them a formal letter? Stating that. Totally we can. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Where's the other one? Where's the one with pure neglect? There you go. Right. That didn't happen overnight in one storm. Right. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we take all the pictures on Friday, Saturday, whatever. See where it's at, and then... Yep. I mean... Every single time, I'm like, if you don't get this fixed, we will issue a stop work order. They scramble around and they do what they're supposed to do. Well, it's, it, it's annoying to us enough just having to deal with it. I mean, I would suggest call them in and have them sit here right, and let them know how serious we are about it. Mm -hmm. Tell them right mm -hmm. here we'll close them down if they don't um, take care of that. Right. Yeah, but it, and, and I'm fine with that, <coughs> but close them down until they do what? Until they clean up and do what they're supposed to do, and then they do that, and then... We look over here for five minutes, and it's back to crap again. Well, um, well perspective. that would be the yeah. first step towards closing them down. So tell them, come in, we'll give you a chance, we have it any, if we see it anymore, then the place is closed down. Yeah, I think the next time there's a bad report, just issue it. They lose a couple of days of work there, and they'll... Uh, probably tune them up a little. I hope so. Uh, yeah, I think, I think Walter yeah. has the right idea, though, face-to-face -face confrontation. Mm -hmm. We do. Yeah. I, I think yeah. that's a really good that. idea, have them come in. You think it's a good idea? Hmm? You think to, it's a good idea? To have them come in. To yeah. have them come in. Okay. At that point, it's, it's a last resort for us. Right. We've had it. This is your last. Cool. Right. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Yeah. Oh, they need to appoint someone to be in charge of it, or someone's going to take responsibility for that. Mm 
and like you've got waddle here you know you need waddle right but then you go here so i think you, there's no waddle right so i think the picture without the waddle i so that was 101 this is 102 this is 103 i think after that they installed the erosion control oh this is older. around that yeah okay yeah because well, it's definitely sense. here yeah yeah right yeah well what's in the background of the picture is the culvert so there's that that's down that's here. there so yeah they got the waddle in now and it's probably that house yes give or take yep yeah, wrong in the one past, of the but. one of these, yeah. yeah, one of these middle ones, yep. And mulch. It's everywhere. Mm. Oh, you can't do that. No, I'm. I'm just curious. I, I'm like, is that what that is? Yeah, they ground They've, up all the stumps on site, and then that's how they get rid of it. Because huh? you can't bury it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't think there was. A yeah, no, that. no, no, that's fine. Um, and it acts as. You know, it, it helps keep the soils in place. I just want them to get it done. Yeah. It's ridiculous at this point. They're, um, How much notice do we need to give them to come to a meeting? 72 hours or something? Um, I don't know that there's any prescribed Rule. time limit. Um, well, we have to look at the reports in the next couple of weeks. And then before the next meeting, you call right. them up. Yep. Let's see the next report. See what that says. And um, but how do we do that if we don't have a meeting? Do we have to vote on action of the next report now? No, I can make the decision you can. whether to okay, call know. them in. Yeah. Cool. Yep. The fearless leader has spoken. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but I, I would agree. I would uh, support that initiative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Solved. All right. So we will keep an eye on that. And hopefully, Pat, um, I'll try to remember to shoot Pat a message tomorrow and see when he plans on going out. Did they ever fix that bridge down there? What bridge? Oh, the. <laughs> um, uh, no, I I do remember. I don't. I, I don't I, SVT was kind of in charge of having them. Okay. They said I, they were going to do the bridge. Right. I think what they did is they got some money. Oh, to, to for SVT okay. to do the bridge. Mm -hmm. So that I mean, we know that it's would be better right. after we yes, saw yeah. what they did. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So that we know it's done right. <laughs> okay. So speaking of that, on April Sunday, April sixteenth, there is a Highland Ridge Trail Work Day, um, sponsored by SVT. Um, April? Yep. So it's the, the week before Earth Day. Yeah. It's the week mm -hmm. before Earth Day. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe the week after Easter. Yeah, it is. The yes. Yeah. Um, they did this, well, the, the last one that I worked on was over at um, Great Oak Farm. We cut a trail in where there hadn't been one. So um, I have already signed up to help on this. Maddie, did you also? I'm not. Okay. Um, what does it involve? It, a lot of physical labor. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're excused. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I was thinking I could borrow Bob Whale's little thing. But yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Right. Um, yeah, I honestly, it, it, Dan is the one who puts these together, and I'm not entirely sure what his plan is, what he wants to get done. Mm -hmm. um, but it often, you know, if we're creating a trail or delineating the trail a little bit better, it'll be, you know, cutting saplings, raking. Usually he'll rake the leaves and the pine needles and stuff to the edges mm -hmm. to make it clear that that's where the path is. and. That kind of stuff. Yeah, it'll probably help. So, um, just so you all know, that's that. I'm in. And maybe there'll be a bri bridge built that day. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I Who's don't know what his plan is. Who's bringing the cookies? Maybe Louise is bringing the cookies. <laughs> maybe that'll be her contribution. <laughs> I could do that. 
Yeah. No, have Maddie bring him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you double <doubled> now. <laughs> yep. Um, and the last thing that's on the agenda is the snowmobiles at 40 Caves. Oh boy. Uh, one, one, well, we went by land acquisition. Uh, we did. I just wanted to talk about. Right. So. Um, yeah, it can be done in open meeting. If you want. So you, you yeah, decide. Yeah. Um, so we're going to schedule Maddie, um, also as an agenda item. Um, we're going to schedule an executive meeting. Okay. For. After our meeting yeah. on the fifth. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was supposed to tell Maddie to do it for tonight, but. Sorry. Yeah. You're doing a good <laughs> I'm job. I'm going to blame jet lag on that one and the vacation. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a job like yours and you get vacation too. I know, right? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you do have it sweet. Okay. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, but you did have Jennifer Francisco. Yeah. Any. I saw something in some email. To me, then I then I followed it to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. It, do you want to talk about this at all? Is there anything oh, to talk about? Well, it's just. I mean, didn't we talked about it a couple of meetings ago? We didn't did. We? Yeah. And um, kind of decided at that time it wasn't something we were terribly interested in. But we we didn't have a map before us. I don't think. But um, right. I, in the email, the last email that I remember seeing from you, they were looking for something close to market value. Yeah, they stopped by and said that it was 50, they'll take 50% of what it was appraised is that, for. Or but maybe even assessed for. Yeah. Yeah, and that's 150. Right. So, yeah. um, so what do they want to do? They want to um, sell, us some, sell us some land off of that. Uh, um, that is that abuts Captiva. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, she brought the plan down, stopped by the house and everything, and I just said, you know, we're really focused on a farm nearby there, and we can't. 150 would be right. very handy there, and that, that's our priority. Right. He says. Um, yeah. Is that the land where, because um, I remember when they um, they were building, they had to cross the wetlands for the reserve area for the septic system? Yeah, I don't know. You, you know when you go, go by Captiva Drive and there's a water hole on the mm -hmm. left there? Well, well, it includes that. Oh, it goes okay. up and then goes in. Right. Or out, be better yet, you go in Captiva to the cul-de-sac, mm -hmm. and there's frontage on the cul-de-sac. And it goes down along Alvin Gurry's, what it was his lot, and up. It's pretty much a rectangle out in there. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Um. And okay. We've got a little parcel right there on Captiva Road. Right, right which is, you know, one the of the reasons we would even talk about it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Here's the, here's the. Right, exactly. The, um, we have yep. Yep. we have a right of way into Pisca, it, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's a swamp. You can't walk across. Oh, is that right? Right. Isn't yeah. That this this access right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. What would be the value of acquiring that piece of land? What Quiring? would be the value of acquiring that piece of land? What lamp? good would it be? I mean, I don't think it's buildable anyway. Right. It would provide access <laughs> that's not wet. Right. Yeah. To okay. some degree. Oh, that little. But yeah. And what one? Point yep. to what one you're talking about? So it w it. This that is one. their house. So it's probably like that. Okay. Right. Um. All right. I just wasn't sure, kind of, how you had left it with her. Um, is that all swamp too, Walter? Say that again. Is, is it, it all, all wet in there too? I, yeah, it is. It's all yeah. wet right there. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of wetlands up there. Right. Does that show wetlands? Not really, huh? No. No. What? We don't pay for that addition. Yeah. <laughs> I get it for free from the state. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, we used to go blueberry tell? picking in there, and we'd always wear rubber boots in July. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Remember the, the field you had there? Is that, where was the field relative to that water hole? There was a field there. Oh, I was the end of the property? Yeah, I mean, I remember, t you know, with Al taking the mules and bringing the hauling the manure spreader up there and spreading but, manure on the yeah. field. Right. Right well, in that, that field area. was fairly new, you know. That it, was, it was pretty much woodlands and blueberry bushes and no, stuff. No, like your father mowed it. Uh, it was a field. Okay, you're it, not talking about the field just below Captiva. No, up beyond it. On the, I don't know if it was, frankly, that's what I'm asking. I don't know where it was, yeah. but there was a field. When you, we went up Ball Hill, and then there was a field there. Yeah. And it was enough of a field you could no, take the mules and that. spread the manure, you know. Yeah. Well, Is that where those four houses are now? Yeah, there's, there's, could there's be. four yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. Is that, is that, uh, it, was that the field? Where the houses are was yeah. the field or I don't know. There we go. Before my time, sir. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So but the, wet, the wetlands well, are in that it wasn't bottom always corner. The field. Like yeah, the last so you could few hook years that we way. were there. Yeah. We turned what is it that? my father had a dog. just a ridge. Turned it into a Yeah, yeah. It yeah, probably goes down. So the last field, actually. Hay field was right. The, so um, this yes. The field of where Captiva mm. Road is. Well, that's what probably what yeah. I'm thinking of. Well, it's not fieldable, so Yeah, it was a long narrow. So that's 591. Yeah. And the next one, yeah, it's pretty flat there. But that's not 200 feet. There to there. Got it. Certainly. It doesn't have frontage here. But so it's, it's their house lot. So they couldn't break it off as a house lot, as an additional house lot. Right, because it's un or not enough. Right. Okay. Yep. Donation would be nice. Right. Nice Can you use it for anything nice else? Nice tax write-off? Yep. <laughs> they, do, are they looking for a tax write-off for a large donation? <laughs> uh, I think we're going to buy them. <laughs> I, I think that's what they're going to have to do if they want anything out of it. Right. I don't know. Right. Um, okay. Now that I said that, I'm going to go walk it so I don't have any. <laughs> right? <laughs> Snowmobiles? Snowmobiles. Snowmobiles. I walked in there um, a week ago tomorrow, I think it was on Thursday. Um, and they had turned the red trail into a snowmobile trail. And uh, a four-wheeler had gone off the trail, off into the woods, and uh, Jim met me there Friday, and we walked that. And he wandered around back there in the woods for a long way. We noted and photographed a number of small trees that had been killed. You know, they're not going to recover from the damage. And uh, Jim and I put up a couple of signs. We've got a couple of cameras out again. Um, I don't know if they if there'll be any activity with this snow because it's not the kind of snow that right. is going to last till the weekend. Yeah. But um, uh, discussion with Jim, we we feel really strong that we need to figure out how to put a stop to this. Yeah. And I mean one of one of the places where the snowmobiles were coming in is across the tracks, the, the active railroad track, from a house, and you can see the snowmobile sitting in the yard. Yep. Oh yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. No, there's no doubt where. I think we know where it's going. From. Yes. Um, one of the things that I was wondering about is: is there a way to put some boulders? Why well, we? I don't know how where you'd get them uh, close enough without some heavy equipment going in there. Right. I mean, we own that property, but do we own an access to it? No. How? I, I don't think so. Walter, when. Mm -hmm. Mushy Woods gets hayed. Mm -hmm. How do they get the equipment in there? Um, actually, they get along pretty good with the um, the, uh, the people that want. We were going to do a trade and let them mm -hmm. use the field. Yeah. Well, those people he accesses through their land and then goes across, and they, they, they get along pretty good. And isn't that where the snowmobiles are also coming from? Yeah. That's another yep. spot yeah. where. Yeah. So. 
Can you like put up a chain or something? Right? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think about this high. Yeah. <laughs> I was people. looking at your photos of that. I have photos look exactly the same as yours that I took a year ago right yeah. there where they come in. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That I mean, I, I tried to get the warden, you know, the warden won't spend time there on that. The police aren't going to spend they time can't. on it. I, I mean, and uh, I don't want to confront them because you end up going to court. So right. <laughs> you end up, you can end up pretty messy. I think we have some options, and it may not just be boulders. Maybe maybe there's something else we can use as a right. barrier. I, I personally, I would like to see us put up some sort of barrier. Um, because asking isn't working. No. The trouble with most bears, excuse me, is if we're going to continue to allow that field to be hayed, it has the to equipment be. has to be able to get by whatever barriers are put up. Right. And if you put up gates, that can right. push the gate open and leave it open. Yep. Mm -hmm. In the winter or summer, it doesn't matter. Yep. Anyway. I like the idea that, I mean, but but they had the snowmobiles had ripped out two of the boulders that um, Dan or Jim, one of them, put in last summer. Right. They, they they're laying on the ground over to the one they didn't take the third one out because it was wide enough to get through. Right. I mean, and and if we if we if we put them back in, that's oh, fine. That's so they'll bad just go that. around it and kill mm -hmm. kill some more saplings. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's I like I like I like the idea of sending letters to the landowners and put them on notice. I don't know if that'll help, but it's, it's worth it, a try. It, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Place to start. It's a place to start. Well, I, I wrote to Jim and said, "You want me to write the letter?" And he said he thought Mandy was writing the letter, but maybe right. you're not. You have so something we, that yeah. you drafted. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We okay. just need some addresses. But. Yep. Yeah. yeah so Name and address. A, mm -hmm. Yeah. Comes yep. up on that app. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. just if you could compile oh, yeah. a list, yeah, we'll get some letters out. Mm -hmm. um, you and I talked a little bit about it. You know, about doing. It. Well, uh, I have mentioned doing an article for the item. Yeah. And then you said something about writing a letter to the editor. Yeah, it, it's you know a scathing sort of. Right. Stop doing this. Right. Yeah, I think that'd be worth a try too. You know. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to write something, um, I know Peg sends stuff off to the item. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I haven't seen anything recently, but you know. Peg. If we get another snowstorm, and it's possible, then um, AJ will keep. If you can see the tracks in the snowmobile, you'll go into that yard. I would call. The, Police and have the police come down with me and go right in and talk to them. But I'd have a police officer there with me. Yeah, I, I don't talk think I'd with them. do that on my own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Good job, Madam <laughs> Chairman. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Anybody have anything else? Yeah. You know, I forgot to mention we were talking about Earth Day. The general store has is going to donate coffee oh, yeah, and that's right. whatever you need to go along with it. Awesome. And they are also willing to uh, make uh, give gift cards to the kids who help collect to go into the store and pick out a, some type of a treat like an ice cream or hmm. can, uh, candy or something. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. That's wonderful. Right. Yeah, so we should make sure we uh, um, Thank them as well. Mm -hmm. And where, um, how do you want to handle the uh, meeting with the Rainville people? Um, you know, you at the executive session okay. for the first, okay. certainly for the first time. Yeah. Yep. And that's what, so that's what I think on the agenda we have to list what our reason is for an executive session so it'll be the the wording is available online mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the one to talk about land acquisition oh. speaking of this executive sessions do we want to vote on the minutes that have oh right I knew there was something else yeah. <laughs> um, so do you, let me see that piece of paper uh, which one 
the one with the list of all of them. Okay, so some of these can be released because we've completed it, but some of them can't be because they include things that we haven't completed yet. Okay. Um, so we have, there's a whole bunch of executive session minutes that need to be approved. Right. Louise had sent them out. Right. Um, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sets. That have to be approved? That have is to be approved. Is it that many? Yeah. yeah. So there's two there. Right. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought we... Huh. Right. I remember voting to approve in virtually every meeting, but I just forget. We voted on them at an executive meeting, but they have to be voted in at the okay. open meeting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yes. so someone want to make a motion? Make a motion that we um, end the meeting. Nope. A motion to accept these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice try. I almost second that one. I was like, yeah. <laughs> You make it, AJ. I move to accept the uh, meeting minutes from these 14 meetings. Do you want the dates of those meetings? Uh, I can just give this to Maddie, and Maddie okay. can put the dates in. Yeah. I'll second uh, AJ's. Uh, excellent. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 All right. Um, so, Maddie, just the dates, not the subjects, okay. should go into the okay. um, into the minutes. So we can move the garden to the next meeting. I don't want to add it into this meeting now. Okay. We're all saturated. Right. <laughs> and we have we have a little bit of time. Um, all right. Can you add that to the agenda then for me? Yep. And now you can make your motion. I move that we close the meeting. Second. As, as Tim Wheeler is famous for saying, there is not debatable. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.